Okay, so there's two things. Uh, the first thing is, uh, my mic was very quiet, so I'm probably going to have to fix that in post. You may or may not notice this. You'll probably notice that. And I also noticed uh, when I paused the game, I actually saw um, SV Cheats are enabled somehow. So I don't know what's going on there. It's probably some magic. Ahead of you is the Aperture Science Time Portal Activation Force Field. This field will activate and deactivate your ability to shoot time portals. It will not fizz your portals or destroy cubes. I found out. I found out why toggle zoom doesn't work. Um, it was rebound to this. So. The orange one. Okay, oh, that disables it. Oh, it's actually two sided. Okay. Um, I can probably see that in the original chamber as well. Yeah, that was the fly. Great. The following chamber will combine all the elements you have learned so far. Good luck solving your first test while shooting three different portals. Alright, yeah, this is the one from the YouTube. Oh, it got pretty popular. <laughs> Give me the cube. I think this had a pretty nasty uh, fling, where like you fell through the time portal as well. Um, let's try to figure out how that worked. I think it was like one there. So like you use this fling a little bit. What happens if I just do this? Okay, that actually works. Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting that to work. Um, and here, I think, let's just go to the present, grab this cube. And then grab the dupe of it and bring it to the present as well. Well done. That makes sense. Traveling through a time portal will also transfer your current momentum into the other timeline. Yeah, I figured that out. I probably wouldn't have figured that out so quickly if it wasn't for the YouTube showing that solution. Uh, that was pretty tricky. I'm sure I always have to check 10. Ah. Infinite fall, huh? So where am I? What am I doing here? Um, presumably there's something up there that I can do with the cube. So let, let me just head up there real quick. I think I can just do that. So this makes the panel go up, and um, I think it closes the door. Let me check. Yeah, the door is open right now, so it probably closes the door. There's also fizzlers that, um, okay. Huh, so these let you get up without doing funny flings, I guess. Um, and something about infinite fall of the cube. So, um, okay. I could probably just put the temporal on the ground and, uh... Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm guessing the gimmick is that I want the cube to be over there. That I can do the thing I did in the earlier chambers where I just touch the cube and it makes the future one go away. Um, that was a bit tricky to figure out though, right? Is there anything funny that I can achieve with this game? Or something like that. Who's that? <laughs> um. Oh yeah, and also, where should I exit from? Um, it might not be possible to exit from this area. I fall down a hole. Um, let me just check. 
Oh, the door is open. I can exit from here. So it doesn't matter which version that I exit in, I'm pretty sure. Although it's probably the one is possible or one is easier. I'm thinking it wants me to, like, fling the cube over there. Um, I can, I can do that quite simply. <laughs> the cube dropper. Um, but now I can't get over there because, uh, that thing is gone. Now that the cube has spawned again over... There. But I still can't get to the cube. Because it is up there where I can't reach it. Ah, but I can spawn a new one. And I'll just pop this one through. Yeah, now it's the same mechanic where I just kind of. This is the, the dirty cube. So I put this on the button, and then when I touch the clean one, it will respawn that. Please work. Thank you. There we go. Nicely done. Now, let's move on to some more advanced challenges. Don't mind if I do? I like that elevator. If you are cute. ever unsure where you placed your portals or where you left the cube in the other timeline, feel free to use the puzzle element indicator switch on your portal device. This will display holographic projections of your portals and cubes in the other timeline. Will it? That's good enough. Not seeing much happen. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. I kind of like that. That's cool. I'll leave that on. Ah, oh, and they even say it here. Okay, so probably this is magic working glass. And the buttons aren't even there. <laughs> um. Wait, yeah, I can get behind that using the time portal. Um. So I just go over there. Time portal on the wall. And I'm in the forbidden room. Okay, that's six grand for a while, so this might be a sort of timing test. <laughs> Um, you might have to go a little quick here. We'll see. If anything, I kind of don't mind it because it's a test to make sure that you've, like, mastered the time mechanic. You know what you're doing. There's two. Um, now I have to exit into this area. There we go. Cut it close. Quickly make your way over these turret redemption platforms. Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. <laughs> Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. <laughs> that almost ended poorly. If at any point you are concerned about your odds of survival, don't be. Remember the test subject teleportation devices at the start of each test section? Should you die at any point during this test, we can simply rearrange the atoms you are made of and put them back together. Good as new. Reassuring. So there's the magic broken glass here. You know how it is. There's a short delay. That's funny. Okay, and there's the holographic thing. So keep here. Um.
that makes the panel go. Because I still don't have it down pat yet. Um, I can't have this, like, I can't have a cube in the past. I can't have the past cube here. Um, well, okay, not in here at all. But I can't have the past cube here. Because it will, like, do that thing. So. I need the present cube, maybe? Put the present cube here, and then the past cube fling somehow, but that doesn't even make any sense. Um, let's just fling something over there and see what happens. I can bring this one forward. The problem is that if I do that, um, now if I try to respawn this cube, it will do both. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought would happen. Um, took a little while though, which is kind of funny. Oh hey. I actually do not see that, um, let me watch that again. Okay. Takes a while to settle in. Oh, and then if I just do it, okay, so I had it backwards. <laughs> I can just do this, it works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> ah! Can I do some funny business? Like, I have the cube fall through here, but into. Like, I respawn the cube in this version, but it somehow goes into the other. No, that doesn't make sense. You can't split portals like that. I can't have, like, something pass through this area. Oh, but I know what that means. Do this. Ah? Uh, so if it falls through the time portal, then, um, good lord, who knows what's gonna happen. Um, okay. I see it. Death. In case you were curious, no. We cannot make infinite clones of you because of the stupid rules of quantum mechanics. Only once you die can we take your atoms and recreate your body for continued perpetual testing. I'll take your word for it. Oh no, here come the lasers. These lasers should provide a fun change of pace. Please be aware that some test elements may only be functional in one timeline. Okay. Are there, yes, our ports was opposite each other. This is kind of backwards, right? Like, if this if this is in the other area, um, this is in the other version of the test chamber, it'd be pretty easy. You just one portal there, the other portal there. Uh, but that's not how it is. So, let's do this. And put the time somewhere random. Yeah, maybe I could do this. There we go. Great. By now, you might be wondering okay. how it is possible to hear these automated messages. Regardless of which timeline you're in, we implanted a small device directly into your brain. That way, you can hear these messages as if they were the voice of your own conscience. Well, they practically are, considering how much of your cerebral cortex we had to remove to make this work. <sighs> the writing is not bad. So, it's the puzzle with 10 million laser relays. That it, you know it has to happen. Every single prototype mod has to happen. A 
Okay, that also resets when you go to a different map, apparently. That guide. And the laser broke. Doesn't work. So I have to start the... Oh, I can't take this one. I have to start the laser in here. And, I don't know, let's just do some random shit. Is that the... Okay, there's two more. I can do that. That doesn't really seem the intended way to do it, though. So where does it hit? Um, basically like that. I'll have to replace that cube. So. Wait, what am I thinking? I don't think this will work at all. <laughs> Ooh. I think I have a little missing texture. There's the There it is. Um, yeah, that doesn't make sense. I think I'll just take this one forwards. Oh, excuse me, backwards. <laughs> I'll just leave the time portal for you. me. This is like exactly the opposite of how I thought it would go. <laughs> That also misses, so good job. So how is this laid out? There's four targets. One, two, three, four, I think. It doesn't really make sense to hit any targets in the room that I'm, version of the room that I'm not going to exit from. So it just doesn't do anything. It looks like, again, I can exit from either version, so I don't know which one is first. So the things that I can do are... I can do this. But then, like... That's about the most interesting thing I can do with the laser. There's nothing over here. And I can't really... exit like that. Trying to piece together what is the actual path of the laser. Screw it, but keep it not. So how can I even like draw straight lines to this picture? <laughs> so that, you know, I connect all the utilities. Um, so if the laser just comes out of here, which I can't really, it doesn't end on a portal, it does end on a portal surface. Uh huh. Okay. So it's not useful to move that cube just yet, but if I want to move it, I can. Right. I have to line this one up first. Line this one up. Let's try line everything up real precisely. So right on the midline. Right on the midline. Right on the midline. Right here. So I hit the first, first, I hit those two laser relays, I take this cube, I hit the third, and I can retrieve it, bring it backwards, and hit the fourth, there we go. Oh. Things are about to get a little more complicated in the next chamber. But don't lose hope. Think about this. As long as you don't see your own corpse lying in the future, it is safe to assume that you solved the chamber sometime during the last 20 years. Good to know. Thank you. What funny is this going on here? Okay, so we have the magic fields that have just turned magic drink off. You know how it is. Um, I have to hit both of those. Is this possible? I don't think it's possible in the present yet, because I can't even get the laser in the first place. 
Um, but in the future, well, how do I get both? It's a thing. I can get one. I was thinking I could do this and then bail through the time portal, but uh, I can't shoot the time portal. Does this? No. Okay. Right. I have to get these portals set up first. And then they open the time portal. What is happening? What happened to my blue portal? Think a little bit. What's the setup that I need? Clear those, both of those off. I just wonder if it's possible to break it. Um, so, again, there's two options for how I can get up here. I can either do it in the present version, which I'm not sure is possible. I think it, oh, actually, I should. Well, I think it did get mostly there. <laughs> and maybe I didn't. Who knows? Um, or in this version. Either of those ways can involve at least coming through this portal or this portal. <laughs> well, okay, the laser can't come out of this portal because this is in the same place in both versions. So uh, that means shoving the laser into this portal in the other version, which is just a non starter. At least it comes out of this portal, that means in this version, I have both of my portals set up like this, which I tried, but I can't really do because I get stuck. If I do one, and then the time portal for the other. And what if I just like move the time portal? No, uh, that's a non-starter. I can at least get the orange portal in the present. Calm down. Get the orange portal in the present to go there. So maybe in, I can also do, get it to do this, right? Now let me pop through the portal again. What if I just move this portal over here? Right, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I was thinking I could get it to exit um, through there. But now I have something interesting in the present, right? If I'm able to shoot the portal out of here, so I have the time portal here. If I get it out through the time portal, which I'm able to do even. Like this. Then that activates the lift in the present. Right? And I can just move the time portal back and forth. Got it. And that's just the first part. <laughs> that was dot one. I got two. Oh, there's another one of these things as well. So let's think about what these things mean again. Um, if I'm able to take the cube from the... It's flicking a lot. From this version. I don't know why it's flickering, but sure. Um, I do this first, and then I go through here. Other way. Retrieve it. Then if I'm able to get up here, which like 
I kind of am. That's the staircase, yeah. Um, I'll just move my orange pearl here. Okay, that wasn't too hard, I don't think. Prayers for celebration. Nope. First part was much harder, I think. <laughs> you solved it. And you were pretty quick about it, too. Thank you. Great work. 